Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there, hunters. I mean, it sure does feel weird making more videos on Monster Hunter Rise, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, I do feel this one's justified, though. So in case you don't know or haven't played Rise on PC yet, uh, the keyboard and mouse controls are pretty fucking absurd. I don't know who made those default controls, but they must have like 16 fingers or something. So today I'm going to talk about my controls and setups for keyboard and mouse. Keep in mind that this is my personal choice, and I've already talked to Titus and Sabelle who have different controls, so obviously this is not a uniform keybind setup, but I feel it's better than the default keybinds and maybe it'll help you at least start somewhere. Because the keybinds menus are kind of all over the place for no reason. So yeah, let's get started with the gunner weaponry. Shocker, I know. So I use the same scheme for bows and bow guns, but you may want to change that. Uh, I just like it because it keeps pretty much my muscle memory in check and it makes me use the same keys whenever I can. Anyway, so first off in the control section, most of this is for controller. Doesn't really specify that at all. Why controller and keyboard don't have separate sections is beyond me, but if you're playing on keyboard and mouse, you could ignore most of this section. The only parts you need to look into is the radial menu settings for keyboard, which should be type 2. Type 1 means that you're going to bring up the menu when you press your 1 through 9 hotbars, and then you need to press them again to use the item when the menu is up. Type 2 means that you're just instantly going to use whatever it's bound to without seeing it beforehand. So it's going to save you one click. So just type 2. Save your clicks, type 2. Then down at the bottom you have mouse wheel settings and keyboard settings. Mouse wheel settings, fairly important. I have mouse wheel setting 1 to be item bar so that I can scroll my mouse wheel up and down to scroll my item bar. So below that is what you want your mouse scroll wheel to be when you hold control. I have this set to action bar because I'm rarely going to use action bar and so control and scroll isn't that far out of reach to use if I need to, but it's not going to be something I use regularly. Keyboard settings 1 and 2, kind of a joke. Uh, it's the same as mouse wheel settings but for arrow keys on your keyboard. Who's using a mouse that's switching over the arrow keys? I, I don't understand why this is a thing. I didn't touch it. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Now what you really need to change is here at the top in keybinds. This is for keyboard and mouse controls, though again it doesn't specify that. Menu controls are mostly fine. I didn't really have an issue there, so I left that as is. So let's click on the ranged weapon controls and go over that real quick. Standard stuff starting out, WS and D movement, though I had to move the target lock to T so it's out of the way. And for some reason you can't bind target lock to tab, not sure why. Gunners shouldn't really need to target much anyway, so it shouldn't be much of an issue, I just kind of moved it away. Dash is shift and roll a space because it has to be. Though oddly gunners have just dash, whereas Blademaster has dash and sheath. Why can't gunners dash and sheath on the same button? No idea. Anyway, scrolling down, when you come down to weapon, draw, and shoot, this is where your left click is for obvious reasons. Shoot to click, you know, click shoot, all that good stuff. Beyond this is where your experience is probably going to differ from mine, though. I bound weapon reticle and wire bug to right click, so like a shooter game, I have aim down sights as right click and shoot as left click. Makes sense to me. So I can see where some people want special attack on the right click, so that, you know, if you're playing bow, it's left click to shoot, right click power shot but not me, I need, I need aim right click. I put the special stuff on E, so special ammo and power shot on bow is gonna be E for me. This is the same setup I had in world, it's comfy for me, maybe not for you. R is reload because R is for reload. Why wouldn't R be reload? So ammo coatings, it's right there. It's easy, it's comfortable, it's recognizable, no issues for me, R to reload. R to reload. Palomute controls, I wish I could have changed to have jump as space and dash as shift as well, but you can't bind those to more than one key for some reason, so yeah. Others you can, shift and space, no, not sure why. So I left those as default, but I'm not happy about it. Combo keys I don't really use, gunner's simple enough that the only combo key I would ever use is for melee bash, but I mean it's easy enough for me to press E and R at the same time, so again, I don't really use any of these. And below that I have item use and weapon sheath as Q, so it's easily accessible for me to use items. So yes, that means I have to sheath with Q and not shift like Blademaster. Why? Again, I don't know, ask Capcom. I don't know why I can't have the same keybinds. So my silk binds for Gunner end up being shift and E and shift and R, which isn't the most uncomfortable keybind. It's slightly out of the way, but it's not that big of a deal for me. I could use combo keys for it, but I have pretty much everything nearby used up. 
tech roll is shift in space, which again is kind of annoying. I wish I could just mash space to tech roll. But yeah, it has to be shift in space because sprint and wire bug is the same keybind for gunner. And sprint has to be shift, so so does wire bug. Now down here on the menu, we have item bar scroll. Why is this here when it's on the mouse wheel in the previous menu? No idea, ignoring that. Below it is MO encoding scroll, but this is not for MO encoding scroll. Again, don't ask why. This menu is all messed up. Skip that, keep going. Action bar, again, not sure why it's here. However, action bar up and down, that's MO. Again, I know it's weird, but it's MO. I bound this to mouse three and four, so I can scroll MO on mouse three and four without having to use control from the previous menu. And then other than that, everything else is pretty much left alone. So with this keybind setup, my hands are pretty comfortable hitting just about everything I need to. And while it will take some getting used to, it's not that much different than my world controls. So again, I'm kind of sticking to this for now. Now on the melee side of things, this is probably going to be even more confusing because I bound mine specifically for Gunlance. So while this applies to Gunlance, probably not so comfortable for other weapons. Anyway, same controls, I'm using my gunner as a base here, but when we get down to the attack button keys, we're going to be seeing some changes. Normal poke, left click, because Lance is in left hand. Get it? And then I have guard and right click, because the shield's in the right hand. Weird, right? Special, still E for me, which is shelling. Again, makes sense for me, maybe not for you, but it's a special popular of the weapon, so yeah, it's going to be easily accessible for my finger. It's right there. Moving down on this list, I have R2 and circle the multi-action to be R because that's the reload command for Gunlance. So R for reload again. I know, big fucking shocker, revelations over here. But also doing E and right click felt super weird, so I needed a multi-bind button for it. Especially because E and left click is overhead slam, and I had to alternate those and yeah, just I kept messing it up. Now further down, I have multi-action buttons on mouse 3 and 4 because I don't have ammo to manage for Gunlance. These are actually the Silk Binds 1 and 2, and I have these here because Melee has Wirebug and Reticle bound to a separate button unlike Gunner. So its default control for Blademaster would be Control e and Control left click to Silk Bind, and that's super janky. So mouse 3, mouse 4, pretty comfy enough. Shift for Gunner can be Silk Binds, but I can't have, you know, like sprint and silk bind uh, on shift like I can for Blade Master because it would be like sprint, sheet, silk bind all in the same thing. I, yeah, super weird, but I can't do anything about it. So because of this, my tech role for melee is control in space, not shift in space like gunner. Why I can't have the same keybinds for both melee and gunner, I don't know. Ask Capcom, but it's making me kind of annoyed. Now everything else is pretty much default or just left alone. That's basically all my keybinds for melee though. With this setup, it feels a bit more clunky than Gunner, but for Gunland specifically, it's pretty solid. I've been using this on Magnamala for a bit and I've gotten used to it. So it's annoying that Sheath and Wirebug can't be on the same for both Gunner and Blade Master because that's like the only difference with my keybinds right now. And it's gonna be tripping me up for sure when I swap between weapons, but it's something we're gonna have to deal with until Capcom either fixes the keybind menu or we get mods to change the keybinds herself. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all for me. I hope this helped you guys out or at least, you know, helped you making your own keybinds for keyboard controls. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching and good luck out there, hunters.